Hey Shark Nation, welcome to Turf Talk. I'm Steven Chatola, Director of Multimedia, and here's my co-host, owner and president of the Jacksonville Sharks, Steve Curran. Well, I expect a little bigger build-up, Steve. I'm actually, you know, founding owner with my partner. Old partner Sorry about that. We'll correct that on the lower Three-time champion, but I'll take what it is. Hello, Sorry everybody. Welcome to Shark Talk. All right. So before we talk about uh, before we talk about 2020, let's recap the 2019 season. This is our state of the franchise first episode, so we want to go over everything that happened last year, and then we're going to go over some great stuff uh, for 2020. But first, 15 and one national champions, and what a championship game that was. What are your thoughts on the 2019 season? Great year. It was kind of it was kind of scary because that first game we came out against an expansion team. Didn't know anything about them. They had a very good quarterback that before we played before, and uh, you know we lost. You know, and we're going. Wow, I got people calling me up going, "Don't beat them 100 to nothing." So all of a sudden we lost the first game, but then the guys found their footing, and again we didn't lose another game all the way through. And anybody that didn't go to that championship game, if you miss that championship game, oh my gosh, you miss a great one. And I know some people walked out, so shame on you. But a great comeback, great job by the guys to get the championship. Yeah, and, and, to, and to our coaches' credit, going back to that first game, one of the things um, our coaches mentioned is one of the hard things about new teams that are expansions, we have no tape on them. Absolutely. It's hard to guess what they're going to do. It was a difficult game, but we had players come up to us after the game and say, we might not lose again, and they sure were right. Uh, we had a great staff, great athletes playing for us last year. And that had to be, in my, in my four years, this will go going on my fifth season, that would be one of the best arena football games that I got to work. It was a little stressful. There were some moments when I would have told you the opposite. But at the Absolutely. end, it was totally worth it. What a great way to end the 2019 season. Now, yeah. on to 2020. We got a new head coach, but a familiar yeah. face. Tell me what went into the idea of bringing on Coach Fuller as the head coach of the Jacksonville Sharks. Well, James uh, did a great job in Maine when he was there. Uh, he got the hottest team going. If there would have been a couple more games in the playoffs, they would have been in there. Um, it just got to the point where a change, it's hard to make a change when you're 15 and one in a championship. But there's a couple things that came into play, and there's a lot more to this game than just the X's and O's. So we decided to make a change. Uh, James is available, great chance, great guy, and, and we're very happy with him leading the team going forward. We think we're going to have a really good year as well, as the Sharks always do, knock on wood. Um, but unfortunately, we had to make a change, but we're really happy with the change that we did make. Absolutely. And for the fans out there that are a little less familiar with James Fuller, he's been arena football head coach for quite some time now. If anyone remembers the main mammoths, he did a wonderful job as the head coach of that franchise and then came to Jacksonville as the defensive coordinator of the Sharks, where he helped the number one uh, NAL defense last year win a championship. And here's a stat line for you, Steve. This was impressive, and I didn't even discover this until the end of the season. The Jacksonville Sharks only let up, the offensive line only let up 11 sacks for the entire season. That was uh, 13 games, 11 sacks. Jacksonville Sharks defensive line sacked teams over 40 times last year. So when you got 11 to 40, that's a, quite a difference on the line up front. Coach Fuller proves that he can win that battle up front, and we expect, based on the guys that he signed this year, to kind of have that same uh, domination when it comes to the big guys up front. Absolutely. We got a lot of the guys back. We're missing women who had a great, great year last year, but the guys stepping up are going to be just as well. We got JT back, we got Zach back. Uh, we're going to be loaded uh, both ways coming back for our team, so I'm not looking at us to step down at all. We're going to move forward. And we've always got that target on, us back, on our back because every team wants to beat us. I mean, winning two out of three championships, if we would have had a, a, a no quarterback situation injury, but that always happens, so we're not making excuses, we probably would have had three in a row. So we're looking forward to coming here. There's a lot of teams talking a lot of smack right now. West Virginia's going nuts. New Jersey's talking crazy smack. So we got to step up and play ball, but I'm looking forward to 2020. It's going to be a big year. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you have a lot of connections, and you are highly involved in the National Arena League from a league perspective. Tell me about some of the new teams that we got this year and what fans can expect. The nice thing about this year, there's no new expansion teams. So they're teams that are already established. So we got West Virginia coming in, and then we've also got New Jersey, the flight coming in. And we've got new ownership in Orlando, and they're ready to go. They're talking, another team is talking to us in. Last year, enjoy it because this year we're coming for you. Wow. So these guys will tell you, West Virginia was undefeated won their championship. So that first game, April 4th, is going to be a big game because, again, 
Champ versus champ. We're going to see what happens. That's right, Shark fans. And we want you to be up there in West Virginia to help the Sharks kick off the season. Now, speaking of games, when is our home opener? Well, April 25th is going to be the big home opener. Looking forward to everybody coming out and supporting the team. We're going to have that banner drop. Hopefully it'll be better than the last time we did. Uh, that wasn't a fun one, but uh, it, it's going to be a big, big game. We're going to get that information out to everybody. Hope everybody comes out and supports the team. The great thing about last year was the fans are awesome. We've always won best fan. I think the last three years in the NHL we've won best fan. Without you guys, you know, these guys come out and they're just hyped up every time they play in front of the home fans. Absolutely. And if I'm watching this as a fan at home, what is the best way to get season tickets for the Sharks? I want to be at every single home yeah. game this year. What's the number one way? And are there any good deals going on right now that they should know about? If you don't have season tickets, I don't know what's wrong with you. Less than $100 for two season tickets for the whole year. Lower bowl. Great seats. Call 904-621-0700 or you can go to jacksharks.com and click on the website. We'll hook you up down there as well. But you know, big year, great chance to get in there and get those tickets for less than $100 for two tickets for the season. Absolutely. And I always recommend calling Mike and David. The guys upstairs at our ticket office are wonderful guys. They will help you fine-tune what you want for your experience for the Sharks, and they will walk you through every way to get the best seats available for what you're willing to pay. Definitely give them a call. We'll put the number up on the screen again. Yeah, we've um, also got a new thing going this year where we've got a club special bringing back the club food, so they're wow. going to have a special deal where if you buy uh, your tickets in the club section, you get a chance to get a buy one, get one free for the food menu in there. So that's a nice little deal, change the pace food, a little more upscale food. We've also got, if you buy your front row ticket, you'll get a free military jersey, the same one the teens play, so a real military jersey, another change this year. We've also got our on-field experiences. We've got the away game buses this year, so you, you can't miss. There's a ton of stuff to do. It's going to be a great year. I think so, too. You know, we came off a really great year last year. We got a lot to prove still as a franchise to show you guys that we're the number one thing to do in town when it comes to April through August, and we're going to prove that this year. Tell me about, these are for you, the local businesses that want to get involved with the Sharks, whether you're a returning sponsor or a first-time sponsor or just interested on the fence, not sure if you want to do it. Tell me a little bit about what we got going on sponsorship-wise. Well, the great thing is we got our Jaws package where you buy four tickets, you get free advertising in the game. You also get, which is new for this year, at Shark Fest, it's our pregame party. You get to come out there, you get a table at the thing, you can set up a tent, you can hand out flyers, get people interested into your company and see what's going on. Let them know what's happening before they go into the game. So it's a great chance to go. Instead of entertainment, it's a nice advertising write-off, so check with your accounts. It's a good way to get free tickets for the year. But uh, you can't miss. Absolutely. And you know what another thing is great about that? Converting our fans into your customers is always great, but being at the games, setting up those promo tables, you're brushing shoulders with other local businesses Absolutely. that you're going to see every week, and you never know how that table next to you could help your business get to the next level or where you guys want to go. We have a lot of great local businesses, and we're constantly growing our sponsorships, mm -hmm. and uh, we would like to make sure you guys take advantage of it. So if you know someone who has a local business, tag them in the comments below of this video. Or tell them to stay tuned and watch some more of the stuff. We're going to be going over more sponsorship stuff. We have our group sales manager who works with a lot of clubs and organizations. Uh, he'll be on a little bit later, and he's going to go over some stuff. But that's going to be great. Speaking of sponsors, well, let's take a little – oh, go ahead. Quick, Steve, because this one, everybody know, without our sponsors, we wouldn't be here. 100%. So anything you guys can do to help support our sponsors, we really appreciate because they help us bring the players that we have here and help us get the results we've got. Wouldn't be here without them, so we want to thank all of our sponsors. Cool. we got Emerald behind the camera uh, pointing at her watch, so we're going to cut to a commercial break so you can hear from our current sponsors, and when we come back, we will be with our group sales manager, David Gleason. I'm a real estate agent with Exit Real Estate Gallery, and I help people achieve their goals. The partnership with the Sharks has helped benefit my business because by partnering with them, we get to show that we're part of the community. It's always a good time to move to Northeast Florida because of our economy, our family friendliness, and we always have a lot of entertaining things to do. If you're looking to make a move, call me. Don't end up shark bait like Chum here. Sorry. Our Jaws packages are the perfect opportunity for your business. Get your company information in front of thousands of fans right here in Jacksonville. Catch our fans' attention by getting your business on our ribbon boards, game program, and website. 
Check out our game program now to see all the great local sponsors that are already signed up as JAWS partners this season. We want you to be here. Call 904-621-0700. And we're back. I'm here with David Gleason, Vice President of Group Sales with the Jacksonville Sharks. Dave, great to have you. I know it is not easy to get, get you to sit down with us as you have a really busy schedule. Dave is one of the guys in the community for the Sharks. He uh, handles group sales, youth football camp. He is constantly working with sponsors, groups, and organizations. So I, I, I'm impressed that we could get you to sit down, even if it's just briefly. Thank I you, appreciate Stephen. you taking the time. We, we appreciate being here. We, we do. We're trying to, since the beginning of January, spend a lot of time out in the community, you know, meeting with companies and organizations about having their events here at the Sharks game this season. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about group tickets. Any special promotions going on right now for fans to know? We can get you in with a group ticket as low as $15 this year. And that, again, mentioned is 32% uh, off of game day pricing. Wow. All you need to do is have a group of 10 or more. Doesn't matter if it's a company outing, birthday party, staff appreciation, club organization, school outing, youth sports, or even a fundraiser. Ten or more, and we can get you a group ticket at a very highly discounted rate. Absolutely. So we also know you got a lot of other things that you got going on for groups. Tell me a little bit about uh, Boy Scout and Girl Scout night. Do you have dates for that yet? Yes, we do. We, uh, we're going to have the Girl Scouts uh, this year, second year in a row, uh, which will be May 16th. Uh, the Boy Scouts will be coming the next week, uh, also for a sleepover on May 30th. Um, we have the Attack Dance Camp that we have every year. Uh, Attack Dance Camp uh, teaches girls 6 to 16. The Attack Dancers uh, walk them through a two-day camp, and then they dance at halftime of the game, and that'll be June 6th. And we have a football camp for uh, young men and girls 6 to 16, taught by the uh, uh, coaches the players and staff, and um, uh, that'll be uh, the day of June 27th. Awesome, and how, uh, if there's a fan or family member watching that maybe has a child that wants to get involved in any of the things that you just mentioned, where can they go to sign up for that? Two places on the website, um, and uh, or they can uh, email me, Dave at Jack Sharks, or uh, 621 uh, extension 702, and we can get you that information. Circling back to Scout Night, if I have a son that's in a Scout Night or Scout organization, um, how can I get their Scout leader involved with you to see if my son's Scouts can come to the game to enjoy that night? Okay, two ways. It's actually going to be on the uh, Boy Scouts of America's calendar. All this information will be there. You can download it off of their calendar, or you can download um, a sign-up sheet from our website also. And what about Girl Scout Night? Uh, same thing. It is on their calendar, um, and I think they you you uh, purchase the tickets through the Girl Scouts. Awesome. So one more thing about groups that uh, we want to mention on the show, and this is pretty exciting. I heard a rumor that you can get our fans the best seats in the house. How can they do that? Steven, that is true. We, uh, we the Sharks have the most exciting place to watch a sporting event here in Jacksonville. It's called our Reef Suites that are in the end zone. We do not have um, nets. Nets, thank yes. you. Haven't seen them in years. We do not have nets. You even forgot what they're called. I forgot what they're called. Uh, and you are actually sitting right behind the boards of the end zone. Wow. You could actually high five the players as they are standing there for a kickoff and or a lot of times there are balls and the, and the players that end up in these suites they are as close as you can get to the game. Awesome. So if you want to get close to a touchdown, it sounds like the Reef Seats the place to be. So tell yes. me, is it just seats, or is there anything else uh, that's attractive about the suites that people should know about? It's uh, These seats are your own private area, and there's also an unlimited buffet of food, uh, wine, beer, sodas, from the time the game opens, or from the time the doors open, till the beginning of halftime, which equates to about three hours. So you could entertain have a really good outing, uh, and like I said, you can't get any closer to any sporting event here in Jacksonville. Absolutely, and picking the Sharks, you're picking a winning team to root for. You might as well have the best seats in the house to see that. We're hoping for another championship run. 
Now, about the Reese Suites, is this a season-long commitment, or can you just rent out a suite for one game? Stephen, excellent question. You can do both. You can, you can rent the suite out for a year for all seven home games, or you can come for just one game. You want to have a small outing of eight people, uh, very highly VIP, I might add. Uh, again, as close to the game as you can get, and you can do it for one game. And we have those available this year. Awesome. If there's a viewer watching right now that wants to get a Reef Suite this year, or maybe they have a Reef Suite and they want to renew, uh, how can they get a hold of you, or how can they sign up to get a Reef Suite for this season? Uh, they can call 621-0700, extension 702, or email dave at jacksharks.com. Excellent. Dave, thanks for coming on. We're going to be right back. We're going to have another quick break, and I'll bring Steve back on, our team president, to talk about theme nights and season tickets. Offense is the best defense to prevent eye disease. Prevention is key. And we're back, Shark Nation. Wow, Dave Gleason, what a great guy, hardworking guy, beachgoer, avid sports fan. Glad to have him. Really hard to get that guy pinned down. I, I don't surprised. want to embarrass him, but I remember back when he was an intern for us. Oh, great. So he's not going to like me for that. <laughs> well, you did a great job. You know, Reese Suites really are a great way to experience our game in some of the best seats in the house. So if you really are interested in that, get in contact with Dave, Dave at JackSharks.com. He'll go over that with you more. But now let's move on to some exciting new yeah. current events going on with the Sharks. we got a lot going on. So what's the first thing you want to mention, Steve, that we have coming up? First thing we got going is we got our tryout. Tons of people have been asked about the tryouts coming up. It's going to be March 7th. We're going to announce the location, so keep an eye on jacksharks.com. Keep an eye on the Facebook page. We'll have a sign-up sheet that you go to. So we should hopefully have that announced before the end of next week, the location and the time. Awesome. So March 7th is going to be the day, so set that aside. Then also training camp is going to start up on March 16th. Guys will report. Have a good time for that. We're not sure that is because we always like the fans to come out. You're more than welcome to come out, check out the guys. Um, you know, and we're going to have the information also be on 1010. So we've awesome. got a partnership with them back again. And then the exciting part will be, and this will be good for our sponsors and potential people, is we've got a deal that we're going to announce real, real quick with CW. Wow. So games on TV. So that'll be kind of a neat thing coming up as well. Back to broadcast. That. Exactly. That's right. incredible. That means you can sit at home for the luxury of your house on a day you're not feeling good. You can't make the game and you give your tickets to your kids or to your family or to your friends and you just sit back. I'm going to watch the game and have chicken noodle soup. Obviously, we want you to be in the Shark That's Tank, right. but we understand there are times where you're going to have Never to miss a game, but you can rewatch the game and enjoy all the great highlights the next day. So. 100%. All right. All right, so that's CW. That's our local broadcast. Now, we got some exciting new things that are yet to be announced, yeah. and I've been pitching for a couple of them already. <laughs> I'm not going to say which ones, but we got some theme nights to go over, and we want to hear from you guys. Later on, after this video, we'll be posting a live Q&A yeah. with Steve and Steven, and we will be commenting and replying to what you guys think should be our 2020 theme nights. Um, we got a pretty stacked lineup of ideas, and we got to whittle this down. The hardest thing is, we know there's a lot of great theme nights, but we got to fit them down into seven, potentially eight home games uh, in the season. And we need your help, fans. But let's go over some of the ones that we had discussed and thought were potentially great picks for 2020. Absolutely. We'll go to my favorite, and it's from the past, Shark Aritaville. Going back, Little Beach Fair, then we come back up. Jimmy you Buffett. know, they always love when we wear Hawaiian shirts. Well, guess what? They're back, and they will be available because everybody wanted to buy them. We're going to have them this year. Beautiful Hawaiian shirts for everybody to wear. So they'll be on the Absolutely. coaching staff. They'll be on our staff. So that's a fun one. That's a good one. Um, and then, of course, we're going to bring back some of the old fan favorites that you see every year, like Star Wars Night. Can't let that one go down. That's an awesome one. We got, of course, Military Night and Education Appreciation Night. But a lot of times with education, we like to tie that in with a fun theme yes. as well. So we discussed potentially bringing back Superhero Night. We launched a fan poll, and we saw that a lot of you guys were mentioning and talking about Superhero Night. So that's definitely one that got our attention. What about well, Pirate Night? Well, that turns into that. We had Pirates and Princesses also. That, that Education Night is like a kid night, so we always kind of have something fun with that. We'll bring back the horns and some other stuff for that game, which you don't normally do because a lot of people are back and forth on that. But it's a fun night to get their education. Pirates, superheroes, 
princesses. I like pirates because it was a fun one last time. You know, I like the team in the in the uh, in the skull and crossbones. You, the you know, the black. Everybody likes that come out there. So that's a fun one to go to. I want to go back to Star Wars tonight because, uh, you know, we got a great, great group that comes out every year for that with the City Bank. And that's that's a great one to come back yeah. out. So, and then the people that make the game. So thank you, City Bank, for bringing their their group out there every year for us, and we appreciate you guys coming out. But, you know, first game. How do you break the first game up? You know, we used to do country night. We used to do redneck night. So how do you combine them a little bit? Southern Rock Night. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's going to be a good one, right? Bring your Skinner, Leonard Skinner doll. Molly Hatcher. Yep. What, what, uh, how that's going to be wrong? great. Uh, I can't wait to hear who we announced for the halftime performance. And, you know, it's Jacksonville, guys. we got to do a Jackson, something for the city and for the people. We understand our fan base, and I think Southern Rock Night will be great. Daytona 500 is coming up. So if you need any song suggestions, just go out to a tailgate there. And uh, co you know, email us or comments and tell us what we should be playing. I know DJ Dark Knight will be getting his mm -hmm. jeans and boots on and getting ready for <laughs> Southern Rock Night as well. So that'll be a fun one. Here's the one that I want to hear your guys' opinion of. I've been kind of badgering this guy two years in a row Ooh. now. We still don't know if we're going to do it. Medieval Night. Medieval it's night. a tough one, but we get could pull draw, it off. Get your drill. We'll see. Potential okay. medieval times. You know, there's some Renaissance we'll fairs out there and things like that. They gave us a lot of great ideas. I'm a big fan of the TV show Vikings. There's a lot of other shows that have been out. I know you Game of Thrones fans will be really excited. Mm -hmm. So it can't just be me pitching this, guys. Comment. He thumbs up. Help. Military night. Let help. him know that I'm not crazy. I'm not the only nerd in the office that likes this stuff. And uh, maybe it will happen, but I'm going to need you guys. So That's put cool. on your Viking hats. Go get your turkey legs and, and let our president and our owners know that that medieval night will be worth it. Or if you're like the old school guys, just say, eh, lame, uh, and pitch whatever theme nights you guys want. We really want to hear from you guys. I'm hoping I'm not the only nerd out there that likes medieval night, but if I am, you guys will prove him right. So, uh, yeah, but that's really what we got thinking. You know, we're still going to storm this around. We got a lot of other theme night ideas coming up, some that we didn't mention, but we'll get that's back right. to. That's why I highly recommend you guys stay tuned to our Facebook because we will be having a Facebook Live interview in a couple hours. You guys can comment in and chime in, and, and we'll address some of the theme nights that we're really fighting for. Uh, we got some that are already jotted down and almost set in the Sword in the Stone. That's it. And once they're set in stone, they are launched. You'll see them in the release, and, and they'll it. come. So. Be oh, one of those fans that can brag and say, I helped make that theme night happen by commenting on our Facebook live feed. You'll interact with us. We'll have our screen pulled up so we'll be able to see your comments. And We're, uh, we're yeah. going to need the fans' help also. We'll be sending out a survey. And we'll have a survey on our page. We're asking some people some questions. Just some past, present, future stuff that we got going. So if you see that survey, enter, you have a chance to win a Sharks official game jersey. It's going to be a lot of fun. You guys will help us out. Awesome, awesome Shark fans. And, and before we close out this episode, Steve, is there anything else you want to say for us to look forward to for the 2020 season? Well, I laid down my – oh, I can't say anything about gambling. Sorry. We're ready for 2020. We're going to have a big year. With those fans that we got, you guys are awesome. We appreciate you. That's going to put us over the top. The guys love playing in the tank. Absolutely. So 2020 big year. Get your tickets now, 904 610 -700. Mike and Dave, awesome guys, awesome reps. They'll get you the best seat for the best value. Come on down. Also, tell us who dressed better for the next episode. We're going to keep doing these, so let us know who did the, who did a better job. Maybe I get canned and get kicked off the show and you'll have a new host. Let us know how we did. We're always interested. And if you're a sponsor out there that really liked this video, really liked this show, we can always put you here, here, make this your show, and you can collaborate with us. Thanks again, Shark Nation. Thanks, Thanks for tuning in. You guys rock. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Go, Go Sharks! Sharks.